Hello, and welcome back to Realistic Zomboid Project with me, Bon Bon B. I'm Bon Bon B. You are very, very welcome. And it's uh, Bon Bon E. He's up. He's about. I don't really know how productive we're going to be today. I mean, we should be sort of productive. Oh, hang on. We're going to offload some stuff. I've got a map in here. Who wants to go in here with all my other maps? 32 maps I have. <laughs> I don't know how many annotated maps there are, but I've got a lot of them. We have some Magnum rounds as well, which I feel at some point we'll do something with them. We have a pistols, which are, I mean, empty at the moment, I think, both of them. We started using pistols yesterday, and yeah, they're both sat empty. Maybe we'll do some reloading. We're a bit bored, so I've got an idea for what to do when you're bored. Yeah, grab yourself a value disc player in your secondary hand. We'll, gra uh, we'll grab the boy from Kentucky and throw it into... Hello, we'll grab... Oh, hang on, there's, there's one in there still, isn't there? That'll be better. Now we throw that one into there. And we can turn it on. And we can click the play button. That will sort that out. The Bible readings... Now they have been listened to. I will put on this over here so they're out of the way and out of mind. Right, so we're going to want some a brick fast, fast bricky. If we've got anything left, we've got a chop. We'll grab one of these. We're running out of meat now. So trapping is definitely becoming a thing I want to get onto soon. Mutton chop can go into there for a bit of cooking. Now, Porter Disc is doing its thing, cheering me up. I am overburdened, not by much. Maybe the saw can go in the backpack unless we're using it. And that has helped. We've got a couple of things in the backpack that we probably don't need. Do we need a bottle of water? and bottle with water there's a question we're carrying a lot of water bottles that we probably don't need to be carrying let's offload the water bottle we'll pop that on that table if I swap out the water bottle onto the table, move the bottle with water out of my backpack into my hands, because it contains more water so it makes a bit more sense. Mind you, it's going to make us overburdened. Of course it is. This is a bigger bottle. Yeah? Yeah. <coughs> Crowbar. Um, I'm not sure what more we can do here, really, in terms of dropping our capacity we don't want to be oh it's because I haven't equipped the crowbar there we go that'll be why if I do that and we are back we're back into fighting action good good now let's go oh, there we should be leveling up on cooking soon I feel cooking we are 41.7 points or 0.75 points away. So, hang on, what, where, where are we? Make a note of the score. 108.25. What do we get for cooking a chop? 108.75. Right, throw that over here. Turn off that. And that went up to 7 points. Ah, uh, well, you know, we, we're edging our way up. Let's eat the chop. We are hungry. Now we're in the process of reading foraging, weren't we, last night? We went to bed in the middle of reading the book. We're a bit sad. Oh, you poor thing. Right, so we are... I think let's go and load our guns up with bullets. In case we decide to go out on a booming run. What do we think? Seems like a thing, doesn't it? 44s. 
have we got any 44s open? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's open a box of 44s, or the box of 44s. Okay. Um, eject magazine on that one. We got the magazine there. Insert eight bullets. And put the magazine back. Uh, hang on, inject magazine. That's what? Hang on, hang on, there it is. Insert magazine. And then with this one, inject magazine. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Insert seven bullets into that one. Okay, so I think that's all of our bullets done, yeah, I think. Insert magazine back into that. So that has seven, so six plus one in the chamber, so I've worked out. That's got seven plus one in the chamber, so I've worked out. Okay, now let's re-equip the crowbar in both hands. So our bullet, uh, our um, weapons are good to go. As we will head on down and a little check of the generator, which I know we need some work doing to it soon. Generator info, 49 and 65. I think next time we fill the generator up with fuel, we will also, also put some um, parts into it. I think that is the plan. Now, today we will start with a journey down to the area that we were clearing for food yesterday. Collecting all of the canned provisions because we may as well be. Just makes sense, I feel. We're getting to the point that all the houses in Moldraw will be cleared of canned provisions and long life provisions. At that point, we will definitely start working on our foraging and our trapping skills because we'll have all of the food, literally all of the food. There will be no more food in the town. There are other towns, but we'll have to go and do a lot of clearing of those towns to go and collect their food. So it's just one of those things. It's just an ongoing process of killing and fetching and fetching and killing. But soon we will be very self-sufficient. We've got a farm. The farm is producing some very nice yummies. Very nice yummies some lovely tomatoes got some lovely potatoes carrots yeah hey carrots don't ever feed me carrots for goodness sakes do not like carrots it's a personal thing right it's a personal thing I don't like them Ugh. I mean I don't mind if you put a couple on my plate for colour now make make you a nice dinner bomb bomb oh did you very nice what do you make me well, I made you a nice roast dinner. Look, we've got some potatoes, and some greens, and some uh, three different sorts of roast meat. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. And some carrots. Oh, lovely. They look very pretty. You don't mind if I leave them there? <laughs> leave them on the side of my plate. I move them around my plate as I'm uh, <coughs> progressing. Okay, speaking of progressing, we are back to where we were yesterday down this little neck of the world now I'm not going to use the shotgun oh it's not shotgun the pistols at first we're probably going to be getting down into the trailer park during this stint and there is the point I think we will be pulling the guns out the big guns. Now, I think we've missed the house down here. 
yeah, it's a couple through the woods there that I think we will do from this location. Oh, there's a fence. That won't work. That will not work. Well, it will work, but it just doesn't make any sense. So we'll do them on the way home, right? Good. Glad. Definitely something. Now. Oh, hello. I see a Bertie. Bertie. Let me give him a shout, actually. Bring him to me. Hello. I'm not going to be going into the trees. You might have friends. Okay, now. Don't see anything in there. Don't see anything around the back. Looks clear enough to me. Some white paint in there if ever we need any paint. Have a leather jacket. Well, why not? Two duffel bags. Man, what are you equipping for? Is there anything in a duffel bag? It's a question. Not in that one. And not in that one. Well, very well done. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Nothing in that box. A couple of very nice VHSs there. I've got the four camp beds here. Not what this place was used for, but it feels a bit off. Does that make sense? Just feels a little bit weird. Somewhere where insurgents would live. Right, that house is cleared and done and dusted. Oh. A sack and a tarp. Wow. This place feels very weird. Four camp beds and the car has a sack and a tarp. Do you know what though? It might be a nice car. Let me just see whether or not keys. No, they didn't leave the keys. Sadly, didn't leave the keys. But never mind. <coughs> now, let me just have a little look-see at the map. That one's marked off. Not where this footpath goes to. I'm a little curious about it. Is it just, oh, it's just to cut through to the area that we haven't quite cleared. Almost cleared, but not quite. We've got high fences around here, so it's almost like a gated community here. Almost. I'm going to have a little look in the side window. I'm not trusting. Word searches and electronics four. Pretty sure that's the one we definitely got, isn't it? Electronics four. Newspapers, canned goodies. That's what we're out for. Nice result. Dish towel and dish towels. Yeah. What's in the corner? A couple of radios and some electric wire. Okay, well, that's all right. That's another little corner of the world cleared. We don't need to worry about any longer. Now, 
next house. Hello, iPhone calling, ding dong. <laughs> oh, hello. There's a zombie in there. Do you know that? We've got any other windows I can approach from. Maybe, actually. Can I hit? I can't reach him from there. Shame. Let him rattle away at the door for a minute. See if I've got a back window we can approach from. No. Just the side one. Which is a bit... Worrying. Oh, and company. Not just company, but double company. Right, is this worthy of a change to shotguns or pistols, even? Right, that might bring some friends. We have a getaway car ready though. Okay. Let's go back to the crowbar. I think it is just one dude in there. Another one. Oh, there's a group. Hello. The fans have come. <laughs> They've come from everywhere. They had. Oh, hello. Right, I'm going to do a little. Lead them into the neighborhood. No. Right. That has one left in the chamber. We will switch out for the other gun. Nice. Nice. Oh dear. Oh, <laughs> and there's more. And there's more. Let's be aware. Nope. And that is empty too. Right, quit the crowbar again. Well, you know, we are pushing. Boshin. And we have finished boshing. You fire those guns and they just come pouring in from wherever they're hiding. <coughs> right. I do see one going off into the trees. Let's encourage him this way. Well, 
Come on. Don't click the beer blockers as well. Hello. Now, there was one over here. Where did you go? Here he comes. Here he comes. Or she. He or she. Let's not make any judgments. Well, we've emptied a few more clips. In fact, I think that's all my 44 ammo, isn't it? Now gone. Not that worried about it. We've got plenty of other different sorts of ammos. 9mm and stuff. I think packs less of a punch, but even so, it's still, yeah, score, isn't it? Right, we're in. Let's have a look if you had anything worth borrowing. Let's fill me bottle. Got a few cans of goodies. few books and bits bookshelf there with a few VHS's which we will take and the newspaper I think we've got the farming magazine in fact I'm pretty sure we've got the farming magazine another generator book <laughs> they're all over here every last one of them right so that's a that's a few more kills for Bonboni. Four seven four. Need twenty six more. And we hit five hundred. I see you heading up towards me. I see you. Twenty six. So what? Good one. And you. Nice one. I am curious. I've taken the cologne, but I don't know if it'll actually do anything. Maybe we can. Maybe it's something you can craft of it, possibly. It does seem like something you should be able to craft with. Maybe some kind of cure for flies or something. Let me have a quick look inside window. Looks clear. In fact, it looks so clear. Let's try the side window. Okay, we're in. Still forgot to look at what books we need. <laughs> I will eventually remember to do this. Maybe at the end of today. Okay, we are officially done on this little neighbourhood. Newspaper in there, as we can go without that for today. So, open up the map. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm going to head home. There's more down this way, but we've got two houses around the corner that haven't been cleared properly. So, as they're on the way, and it's half past six in the evening, I think today is done. Oh, hello. We've riled some up over here as well, haven't we? We have riled some up over here. Oh, we have a fast shambler amongst these two. Let me back up a bit. Well done, boy. 
boys. Thank you for resting up. You both got a rosewood map. You got the rosewood. You don't really need a map for rosewood. To be fair, it's not that big a town. Okay, so as I was saying <laughs> originally, I think these two houses here need a visit. Just make sure I am at the right two houses. I am. Station wagon there. We'll have a little look. I mean, we'll take the duct tape. Dog food? Why not? Everything else there is fine. Okay, careful. Well, that's reasonable. In fact, let me just have a look in the medicine cabinet. Yeah. Nothing I really want there. Lots of gloves. Lots of gloves. But nothing I really want. Okay. That house can be checked off. This leaves us with, hang on, let's just see if there are keys in here. Another annotated map, well worth it. More duct tape, I'll take that as well. That leaves us with this house. It's very dark, mind you. It has been cleared once. So it, first of all, it should be unlocked. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. You little shit. going on here. Laceration. Quick bandage it. Critical. That one. Quick bandage. Right, I'm going home. To recover. Critical damage, even though we're wearing a motorcycle helmet. Man. We're going to go home and we're going to rest. As soon as that bandage needs changing, we will change it. Starting to increase the old health bar sli slightly, a little bit. <laughs> Double. Ooh. So, I think what's happened there is someone, probably me, left the window open. Because that house was definitely clear. I'll show you on the map in a minute. We've been in. We've emptied the freezers, which would have meant killing the zombies. And then, bam, there's a zombie in the house. But the window was open. Right. 
we are home. Relatively safe, as safety goes. Um, engine off. I didn't have anything on the passenger seats, did I? Nope. So yeah, that was um, a bit of a worry. We are going to need to fix the generator. That's okay for now though. We are hungry, hungry, hungry. Hungry, hungry hippos. We got some cereal or something here. We can just throw down this. Granola bar. How much? 15. Go on then we'll eat a granola bar. Yes, um, I did say map, didn't I? Let's go and sit down. Uh, shut the lower door there. Pain, sad, tired, heavy load. Ooh, that was a real life vehicle rumbling past. Okay, so let's offload all of my canned nonsense. There we go. That's dealt with those. That should hopefully reduce my load now. We have another jacket, which I'll drop here. Some stuff for downstairs. And the VHSs. Which I will check for duplicates tomorrow. Or whenever I remember. Duct tape. On the table with the rest of duct tape. A couple of magazines for the shelf battery for this table and a watch for this table dirty bandage remove the bandage and bandage quick get it on there <gasps> wow see how quickly that came down shit I am going to go and sit down and try to recover. She opened the wind, opened the door. Sit and relax, okay? See, before you sit and relax, grab yourself foraging. Now, sit and do some reading. Okay, just want you to recover. Highly critical damage. We may not survive if we're not super quick here. We have backup bandages. Now I know we should stitch wounds. But I don't know if I've got the skills for that. I've tried stitching wounds in the past, it didn't actually happen, it didn't actually work. Now I'm going to continue reading this, hopefully that health bar is going to increase high enough that uh, we can survive. Let me have a look at my protection, oh look at that, my neck protection's completely gone. Wow. Damage to the arm as well. That's all very worrying. Anyway. Might as well just sit and read. I know we're really tired. What's that? Getting... 
Not going gently into that good night is the thing. Have I got any food on me? I don't think I have, have I? Get some chips. Let's get the chips. is going to be careful management maybe I leave this on even if the wound gets dirty leaving the bandage on will stop me from just pouring pain but pouring red all over the floor so a dirty bandage is better than no bandage at the moment give me enough time to recover just I want that health bar to go up to about 50% if I take that bandage off now that's gonna just drop really really quickly isn't it I think just watching that bar make sure it keeps climbing because if it stops climbing if it stops climbing because it's dirty that will become a problem because then it could become dirty and um, infected oh, it's still climbing it's still climbing I'm going to risk the infection this is worrying it's not climbing quickly is it not climbing quickly how's that book going mate you enjoying it it might be the last thing you ever read <laughs> It might be the last thing you ever read. Speed the simulation up a bit. Okay, so now we sat there doing nothing. Let's eat those chips. Oh, I thought you were finished reading. Maybe you haven't. My bad. heard the pages stop but that has been red now we've eaten the chips we're not hungry so maybe that will boost the speed that we mend I want this to be at least 50% before I take the bandage off even if we have to stay awake halfway through the night to be able to do so this was a near miss a very near miss right so I'm going to slow the simulation down we're going to try this Damn, 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 it's infected. <sighs> it's infected. I don't know how to stitch a wound. So I'm going to pause the simulation here, call it the end of the day. I'm going to see if I can find a tutorial on mending wounds maybe you can stitch this 
Uh, I've been Bob Bombie. You've been very, very welcome. I'll see you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching.